Well, it is time, though, to turn our attention to some news and notes in the UFC. And, guys, after last weekend in Miami, the way Jack Della Maddalena beat Gilbert Burns, he is now ranked in the top five in the welterweight division. And we happen to have the former welterweight champ here. So just kind of curious what your take is, because he's now number five. Then we've got Colby, Shavkat, Bilal, and then you sitting at number one. So who should be next for the champ, Leon Edwards? Honestly, I think the only thing that makes sense right now is Bilal Muhammad, because Bilal has been there for a while, has been in that top 10, that top five. And who else makes sense? Because I, I think it's going to take time to be able to build someone to challenge the, the, the champion. Mm -hmm. to, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's a thing. When you're fighting for the title, you, you want to be on this, on this run to where you've You've shown everyone that you belong there. You deserve the challenge for the title. And I think it's kind of cloudy right now in that division. You've got all the new bloods in there, the JDM, as you mentioned, Shafkat Rachmanov. You've got uh, Ian Gary making his way up. You've got Do you MVP. find Shafkat as an eliminator? Who? You. Who, me? It's funny how we just going to throw me in there. I thought, we was, <laughs> I thought we were talking about who's next for Leon. But, no, I, um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of great fights yeah. in there, you know. And I think right now, I think, Bilal Muhammad is yeah. kind of the only guy right now that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Uh, you know, I think with MMA, we suffer a bit from recency mm -hmm. bias, right? Yeah, Jack De Della Maddalena just had a stellar performance. Shavkat had a crazy performance. But what we forget what Bilal Muhammad has been doing and ticking off the boxes. And each time that he got a win, we were saying, okay, he's next. Okay, he's next. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, it, it just hasn't happened. I think it's going to happen. I think that's what makes sense next. And now we've got these contenders. We're even throwing Kamaru back yeah. in there where he can come in and get it. There's so much that can happen right now in the welterweight division. It's, it's extremely exciting. It's a good problem to have when we're talking about which guy should get it, should this guy get it. It means that we've got contenders who are capable and ready to challenge for the title right now. That's exciting times. It is exciting. And Kamaru, actually, I should ask because I don't even know if you're fighting at 170 anymore or are you a middleweight? Wow. I would like to know myself. <laughs> it, it's um, – I never thought I'd be in this position. I never thought I would just have had a body of work to the point where I can kind of sit back a little bit and let things kind of unfold. Mm -hmm. For a long, long time, I was, I need to get there. I need to get there. I need to be that guy. I need to be the champion. And now I'm kind of in the position to where I don't have to. Okay. I definitely want to, but I'm taking time to yeah. just kind of see how things unfold. Because right now, that, that division is kind of clouded, the welterweight yeah. division, and in the middleweight division as well. Because uh, for a long time, the reason I wouldn't challenge for that middleweight title was because Israel Desanya was the right. champion. And, you know, right now it's, uh, it's good times. What? I'm just uh, like Bam Bam did. I'm, I'm taking some time, letting some things heal, and, you know, plot my next move.